I think part of my job and people who come after me is to take the journalist's gimlet eye and look at data visualization and see you're really onto something here. This is a very powerful tool to harness vast amounts of information. But we're not there yet in terms of making it a communication tool. I came to Stanford because I felt like I had reached a point in my career where um, I was extremely interested in the possibilities that uh, widely available data are creating for journalists um, in terms of storytelling, in terms of uh, serv uh, public service, um, and in terms of when you take large data sets or live data streams and uh, analyze them for stories and then you want to publish them for the public, uh, what are the skill sets and what are the technologies you need to do that? And have some of those even been invented yet? Mm -hmm. uh, I knew that Stanford was a center of innovation uh, in the computer science and human computer interaction department here. They're doing some amazing things around data visualization. In essence, data visualization is really, really hot right now. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that is uh, entering journalism from the outside because it's largely been driven by academic research um, and uh, you know, industrial R&D, software companies, artists. Um, and I felt like I'd sort of reached a point where uh, the skills that I had that I was using in the newsroom weren't necessarily ready to jump into this, into this new area. And I was sure that there's a lot of people just like me in many newsrooms uh, around the world. Um, so I set about coming to Stanford to learn the fundamentals of, of uh, better data collection and analysis. The idea I had was that I wanted to, to create a kind of a toolkit or a guide for journalists as to, to what, um, what tools are out there that are available right now. And so um, I felt like if I just put in a bunch of instructions or lists of things, there's already a lot of those. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like this was a year where I'd really have the time to go and meet the people who are really pushing this field forward and see where they're coming from. And so I um, decided as long as I was going to be doing these interviews that I would, I would put them on tape.